The 19th annual Together We Can Food Drive for the High Plains Food Bank is coming to a close. Let's send it out to News Channel 10's Walt Howard and Emily Griffin, live at Market Street United to wrap up this week's event. It is Friday night, Stacy, and that means we've got a couple of big checks and a trophy presentation as we wrap up News Channel 10's coverage of the Together We Can Holiday Food Drive, the 18th year we've been doing this out here. And uh, we're going to start out, first of all, talking with our friends from Whataburger, one of our sponsors of the day, Gabby Hernandez, with us. And Gabby, uh, you've always been such a great sponsor of the High Plains Food Bank, and what prompts you guys to come out here and freeze with us every year? It's our family culture and just the belief that the family has to give back to the community that we serve. Now, what have you been doing today to kind of prompt people to come out and donate? We've actually been here since 4 p.m. and just asking our donors to come out, bring any donation, and we've been giving out many free Whataburger, free, free uh, Whataburger coupons and merchandise. Now, we have a giveaway, don't we? we? Sure let's do. start That's with that. In mind. Okay. Which, let's go ahead and, and draw for a winner. And the lucky winner is O.C. Houston. We're going to follow up with this gentleman and give him the price of a free Whataburger for a year. Free Whataburger for a year. That's a great donation, and we thank uh, that individual for donating to the High Plains Food Bank. And we have one more piece of business to take care of right now, and that's a check presentation. So let's bring Zach Wilson in with the High Plains Food Bank. And Zach, uh, we're going to let uh, Gabby take it away here. Yes, on behalf of the Whataburger family, we would like to present the High Plains Food Bank with a check donation for $2,500. Okay, cue the rollover. Turn it over. Turn it over. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. All right, thanks to Whataburger so much. That will go a long way. We'll talk with Zach in just a few minutes. Let's send it over now to Emily. All right, thank you, Walt. I'm standing here with Tanil Graham with United Supermarket. We've been out here all week in y'all's parking lot here at Market Street, and you guys have done such a fantastic thank job of, of letting us come out here and letting folks come out and donate. Um, but but you guys, this is really isn't over for you, uh, even though the, our coverage of it ends tonight. You guys are going to continue this for a little while. Tell me what you're going to be doing uh, even after this is over. Okay, our scan tag promotion will still be going on until December the 14th. Okay. And so they can go to each one of the registers. It doesn't matter which one. And um, go up, walk up to the cashier, and they'll be able to purchase a, a scan tag, and then they can make any denomination. It doesn't matter. So from a dollar to five hundred dollars, whatever they want. Okay, so tomorrow's the seventh. We still got one more week after that, so you've still got some time to come out uh, to any United and uh, Market Streets or Amigos and yes. contribute to the food bank's mission. Uh, but and why has this been something though that you guys have participated in uh, every year again and again? Oh, United is all about giving back. So I mean, we we get a really good feeling with it. So it's it's an, it's an awesome uh, feeling for each one of our team members. So. Right. Well, we certainly appreciate it, and so does the food bank. Neil, thanks so much for being out Thank here with you. us. I'm going to go ahead and just shift on over here to Canyon High School. We've got some students standing here right now. Sorry, I'm going to cut in front of you guys. <laughs> they had they had a big goal and a big mission. The schools have been participating in uh, this for a while now. Uh, tell me a little bit. We've got Matthew standing here. Matthew, tell me a little bit about what you guys did this year to, to raise these donations. Well, we had a competition between the classes this year. Uh, we. And the incentive was a movie day, and the winning class got that. So basically, we just had a competition between the classes to raise, you know, see who could raise, uh, you know, the most money and the most uh, amount of food. Okay, and so we've got we've got a science. We're going to show you guys. Let's step on over, and you can kind of tell me about how much you actually raised here. Well, altogether, we raised twenty-one thousand two hundred forty-two pounds of food. That's a round of applause, guys. Let's, yeah. yeah. That is a great job. A lot of food for the food bank. You guys have done such a marvelous job. But but we have something to give back to you now. Or actually, the food bank does. I'm not sure where, where Zach's going to float in at. So we just want to say thank you. And the food bank wants to say thank you to you guys for all of y'all's hard work. You've won the competition among uh, high schools around the area. So here's your traveling trophy for you guys. Round of applause for that. Yeah. <laughs> great job. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I was just going to add also, um, for four years running now, our seat, the class of 2014 has dominated our camp food drive. They have the, the class officers and the, the entire class of 2014 have really got out there and raised all the, I mean, they have really dominated this race. And, and for the past four years, Canyon High School has dominated the area and raising you know the most amount of foods so. making a mark on your school and your class and definitely making a difference in in the panhandle community for those who need it the most uh, but we've still got some more check presentations uh, and great sponsors so i'm going to kick it back over to walt one more time 
All right, thanks a lot, Emily. I'll tell you what, we are so close to reaching our goals in the holiday food drive. And this check right here may be what puts us right over the top. This is Laura Bailey with B&W Pantex. And uh, Laura, Pantex always goes above and beyond when it comes to the High Plains Food Bank, and we expect that's the same this year, correct? It is the same. You know, it's been a fabulous week, and the folks at the food bank have done a wonderful job of working so hard this week. But we heard they were a little bit short on money, so B&W Pantex wanted to provide 15,000 meals, and so we have a donation of $3,000. That's tremendous. Round of applause from everybody. Zach, come on in here. Accept this check and um, say a few words to, uh, to everyone who has contributed so far this week to the food drive. Well, what a phenomenal week it's been. Uh, we went from a warm week to a very frigid one, but I tell you what, it's all warm after this because this uh, will, will help definitely help us get there. So, uh, you know, the Together We Can Holiday Food Drive can really now be said that together we did and we, and we really did. So it's, uh, we appreciate all the support and, uh, you know, still some time to come out as uh, tomorrow and of course all next week you can still contribute at United and, and help us out. All right. Thank you both very much. I'm going to have Emily step in here real quickly. And uh, Emily, it's been a great week. It has been a great week. It's been a cold week, but even still, the people of the Panhandle have done what they always have done and just came out and, and supported this organization. And we want to thank everyone who has donated so far. And as Zach was saying, we still have uh, one more week where you can come out to United Sumer Supermarkets. So come on out and make a donation. And even though I think we've made it over the top now, I think now, we have. I think we have. We want to continue to uh, donate so that uh, we can help feed people that need that meal and there's no greater cause in this area. No greater cause and no greater people to support it here in the Panhandle. And thanks for joining me and this thank week. thank you for letting me. All right, and we'll send it back to Stacy. <laughs>